shave, if you shave them with the grain, um, this can get even more hair. Um, so that you can get the hair even, I mean the face even smoother um, with this particular Walls product. But I just want to warn you, if you guys have problems with, with facial bumps, you don't want to get too close. So, you know, if you're having a problem with facial bumps, you may not want to use this also. But it's excellent for people who have that under control. It's excellent for getting um, the, hair, the hair nice and close and um, getting a nice smooth um, cut. This is excellent to have. So you definitely want to have a shaver shaper in your um, arsenal. Um, this is a, a Andes Master. And this Andes Master right here is just an older Andes Master. But it was, it was laying around. So I went ahead and put a Fade Master blade on it. And that's all I did. Put a Fade Master blade so now I have a Fade Master. And that's all you have to do. If you have an old Andes Master or an Andes Master that's, that's, you know, that's extra, you can put a Fade Master blade on it. And now you have a Fade Master. And of course, I don't use it that much. I just use it for, for afros because the blade are so, are so thin, you can get a good cut with, af with, with afro cuts. Um, I rarely use it with fades, but you can. Um, for the most part, it's, it's just a good blade to have, a good, a good a clipper to have. And so if you have an Andes Master that's laying around and you don't want to spend money for a new Fade Master, just go ahead and get a Fade Master blade, put it on, and you're good to go. This is my Oyster StarTech. You definitely want to have um, a, 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 a detachable um, a blade set or clipper set in your arsenal. It, I mean, as, as you begin to cut more hair and as you get better at cutting hair, this helps you get rid of hair quickly and your hair cuts will be almost cut in half with, with a detachable clipper set. So whether it's an um, a oyster or a walls or uh, um, and this, whatever you decide to get, with BGRs, whatever you decide to get, you know, you want to have a detachable blade uh, set working because that will allow you to fade faster, allow you to get more haircuts done quicker, and you will just find that overall you you will do um, uh, more cuts per day. Um, this, as you remember, a few, a few um, months ago, I did a, um, a video on um, me, me not being able to find a good a good uh, uh, guard to go with my Andes Master, but uh, I forgot to say to you that this Andes Master now has a new guard that he can use and that I've been using. It's the uh, magnetic guard, and it, it just goes right on very, very easily. It stays on. It, it, it doesn't eat against the teeth, and so therefore, this is an excellent guard to have. It comes in the one eighth and the one sixteenth, and since I've been using them. I am so happy. So um, I finally found something that I can use on an ongoing basis as a guard that will go with this Andes Master and not be chewed up um, by the teeth. And so this is what I'm using now. And it's the magnetic um, guard for Andes. It comes in a, in a one. I'm sorry, in a zero, and which is one eight, and uh, it comes in number one. I'm sorry, zero, which is a one sixteenth. And a number one, which is a one eighth, so it comes in those two sizes. So, you know, it comes in a pack. So you you can pick those up as soon as possible. Matter of fact, before I finish this video, you should be on your way trying to get some of those because those are very, very good to have. All right. So you remember, I, I went ahead and I picked up this magic clip. This magic clip is excellent for doing fades and tapers. I use this for doing temple fades and for doing fades uh, tapers on the back of the neck. This is an excellent clipper to have to do that, especially when your know, Andes is nice and hot from a, from a previous cut. You can go ahead and pull out this Walls um, um, Magic Clip and go ahead and do your fades and tapers. And so this is an excellent uh, clipper to have. Now, we have our Walls Balding Clipper. As you can see, I, I, I use whatever works. I don't care whether it's Andes or Walls or who. You know, I use what works. So if it works, I'm going to use it. All right, this right here is my balding clipper. It's the Walls balding clipper. It's excellent. You need to have one of these in your arsenal because if you're doing a lot of ball fades or ball haircuts, you don't want to be using your clippers to do ball cuts. People use their clippers and their outliners to do ball cuts. The outliner is for outlining. It's for edging up. It's not really made for doing ball cuts. Okay, we use it for it. 
but all we do is put a lot of hair we all we do is um cause our our outline to get heated up and we we end up killing the long life of that particular clipper so use something that that's designed specifically for your your task this walls balding clipper is designed to bald the head you can bald the head you can you can shave the face with this um, you can do initial balding with this and then you come back with your razor or come back with the um, with the clippers uh, with the trimmers real light but you don't want to spend your whole time trying to get the hair off your head with the, with the trimmers I see guys wearing this stuff out wearing the clipper out the clippers all hot the clipper has hair all in it because you're using the, the trimmer to do the clippers job okay so get yourself a balding clipper and use it for the job it was, de it was designed to do okay last but not least is our walls tattoo and this is what I use to do my designs if you're into design work if you're into making you know letters and doing pictures and whatever you need to have this in your arsenal this is my new one I also have an old one that I that I, I use in my other kit but I have this one so when I get ready to do my designs I'm ready okay so I use this along with my um, and this T T outliner stylus uh, styler 2 and these two together gives me all the designs I need to make okay so if you're into designing work you better go out and get a walls tattoo and have it a part of your arsenal so you can do what you need to do so this is what I use on a daily basis this is what I, do, I use so I can get my job done and you will find that as you begin to increase your clientele you will need to do some of the same things you don't need to go out today and buy these tools I'm not telling you to do that what I'm telling you to do is as you begin to grow your clientele and as you see the need for it don't be afraid to go out and get something additional to help you get the job done faster I mean a lot of times we spend money on all kinds of things that don't make sense so why not take thirty or forty dollars and buy yourself something that's going to cause you to make more money look guys take care